Hey guys, Mrs. Marple here with a really quick, fun winter art activity for you guys while you're at home. So this is going to be a winter mitten art lesson. Um, mittens are kind of like gloves, only instead of having areas for all of your fingers, there is one pocket for your thumb and then a big pocket for the rest of your fingers so they can all stay close together and stay friends in the same little um, area. So mittens, <clears throat> we're going to draw first with our hand on our paper, almost like we're, we're giving it a high five. I want it to be right in the middle. And then you're gonna lay your arm across the bottom. Now I want you guys to use a pencil at home for this step, but I'm gonna go ahead and use a marker so you can see a little bit better. I am going to, um, oh, first you're gonna need paper. Paper and pencil and crayons are really all you need for this lesson, but I will be using a couple of different supplies because I have some friends that um, are gonna be getting different things into um, their spaces to, to work with um, on this project. So I'm gonna lay my head, hand down like I'm giving it a five, putting my fingers together, and I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm going to trace the width of my arm, just what I can see on the paper, and I'm gonna go around my thumb See, with pencil, you can erase all these little mistakes. And then instead of tracing around all of your fingers like a hand turkey, we're gonna go around the rest of our fingers like an upside down U shape. And then way back down where my wrist is. <gasps> Look at that. Okay, almost looks like an oven mitt, right? So now I'm gonna move my hand and I'm gonna create the bottom of my mitten so it doesn't look like this goes all the way up my arm, which would be a really long mitten. I'm gonna draw a horizontal line across these two parallel lines that make up my arm. So now it looks like my mitten is separated from my arm, which is a good thing. And I'm gonna make a cuff on this, the you know, stretchy part that you guys probably use um, if you have uh, gloves and things. And I'm gonna put some lines in here, some added texture. We talk about texture a lot in the art room, the way something feels. And I want this to look like it's made out of almost like a sweater material. So this is what we call, um, implied texture. It's not real, it doesn't feel like a sweater, but it looks more like a sweater. Um, remember, a texture that you can actually feel like the fur of your kitty cat or puppy dog, that is called tactile texture. Okay, so once we've finished up with our um, band here and we separated it from our hand, now I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna draw a couple of different lines. So they can be any kind of lines you want and I'm separating it into sections. And we've already gone over a line a bunch in the art room. So whatever kind of lines you wanna do are fine. You could do them all the same if you really wanted to. It's completely up to you. I'm gonna do something else though. A little fun. Uh, let's see. So now I have a couple different styles of line on my mitten. Now kindergarten, this would be a good place for you to stop if you wanted to, and then you could color in your design. But those of you who are um, maybe first and second grade, you guys could go ahead and add different shapes in here if you wanted to. You could draw a picture of a snowman on your mitten if you wanted to. Um, you could have Santa on here, a gingerbread cookie. Um, there's a lot of different things you could put on. You could put basketballs on here, smiley faces, um, emojis, whatever you wanted. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through here and I'm gonna add um, just some extra little details to make it a little more interesting for me to color. And then I'm gonna start coloring. And actually, I can probably stop right here and show you what your next step is. And I'll finish this on my own here in a little bit. So now I'm just gonna use some regular crayons because most of you guys have crayons at home. If you don't, um, maybe let your classroom teacher know and we could um, provide you a little baggie. They wouldn't be brand new but um, that might be something that we could do for you so you at least have something to color with while you're on your um, distance learning experience or into your holiday break. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna color what's inside of my mitten. I'm not gonna worry about any of this extra. This is what we call negative space. This is something where there's nothing there. So I'm not gonna worry about that right now because you're gonna have a couple of different choices when it comes to options to finish this project. You can either leave that on or some of us are going to be cutting them out. So crayons are a great tool. They're probably my favorite thing to use in the art room. And then we also have things like woodies, They're like big colored pencils that are kind of fun to use. Um, if you're at home and you don't have these, that's okay. I This is my um, third or fourth year to have these. They're kind of a new supply. 
but they're fun because you can draw on glass with them. Um, you can add water to them to make paint. So if I wanted to, after I colored this in, I could go over it with a wet paintbrush and it would smooth out. So if I missed any spaces um, or anything, I could fix those in. So, you know, art supplies are a great gift to give anybody anytime. So if you're thinking of, you have a birthday coming up or Christmas or something and you enjoy doing art, put art supplies on your list of things that you would like because it's the art gift art gifts keep giving don't they because you can make cards for people you can make people pictures to make them happy there's lots of ways to make art um, special so I have colored with a couple of my different things also um, in my uh, some of my other classrooms you're gonna be able to use paint sticks if you've never used these in my classroom these are a lot of fun they work just like a glue stick. Make sure you push them up to use them and then twist them back down when you're done using them um, so they don't get smashed up on the lid. So I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna start uh, finishing up my little mitten here and then I'll meet you back when I'm finished with that. All right. Okay guys, I am done coloring up my mitten. Now this is um, another place where you can stop if you're going to make this a two-day activity. You're more than welcome to do that, um, but this is a good uh, stopping point. If you are going to keep working, then what I would suggest is that you find either a um, skin tone crayon, brown, tan, peach, something that you can color your wrist with, or you can color it maybe the color of your shirt sleeve. So if you don't have a skin tone crayon, um, you can do that but you don't want it to look like it's the same part of the mitten. You just want to keep it separated and maybe without pattern so that your mitten really stands out. Um, an optional choice for you would be, um, you can color the background, um, maybe rainbow, maybe um, clouds, like he's holding his mitten up to the sky. You could do snowflakes in the sky if you wanted to, or what I'm gonna have one of my classes do is I'm gonna have you guys cut this out. So remember with scissor safety, you need to make sure you ask an adult first before you use them, especially a big pair of scissors like these. I would prefer that you use um, a child size or youth scissors. And you hold with the hand that is non-dominant, that means a hand that you don't draw with, and you cut away from yourself, never towards yourself. And we certainly don't cut anything except our paper or the project that we're working on at the time, never hair, never clothes, never our neighbor's paper. Um, so just make sure that you're careful and I don't want you guys walking around with your scissors. So just kind of keep them at your table or make sure you remember how to hold them properly. We, we do that in the art room. We talk about how to hold our scissors. Um, so just be careful. So I'm gonna take the time and I'm gonna cut this out and then I'm gonna glue it down to a piece of colored construction paper. If you guys don't have any colored construction paper, that's okay. Um, you could use um, wrapping paper. You could use um, the back of a cereal box and then you could color the back of that, um, the inside where it's plain, cardboard on the inside. Uh, there's a lot of different things that you could glue this to. Um, scrapbook paper, I don't know if I already said that, oops. Um, but you can get creative with it. You can tape it on your window, like it's someone saying hello. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take um, this mitten, I'm gonna put glue on the back and I'm gonna stick it to a piece of paper and I might add something different to it, I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this mitten project. Um, I can't wait to see what they look like. Be sure to post them on Seesaw, um, a colored mitten, and when you're done, you're gonna hit the check mark up at the top. All right, see you later.